Hello guys, DJ Pazen here and today is gonna be another video. Um, quite a lot of you asked me to play another challenge because um, I've in my recent videos of course played mostly tournament games and some of you wanted uh, another challenge video. Um, so I will do that. Um, you can also leave me a comment, tell me what you want to see from this channel and maybe I can do that. Um, also there's a new channel, maybe you have noticed uh, that, there's a new Through the, Ages, Through the Ages channel called Play Through the Ages. I have linked him in the description so you can check him out as well. Uh, so yeah, which challenge do I want to play? It's gonna be the final mix. Uh, it's a really interesting challenge I think. Um, there are all the leaders and all the wonders in the game and we players may take a second leader from the same age as long as they are from a different set. Uh, so that's going to be really interesting playing around with different leaders from the same age. And when you replace a leader you get 4 more civil actions back, so you get 5 civil actions back. Um, and when taking a wonder, players pay extra civil actions only for completed wonders from the same set. And Michelangelo is nerfed a little bit and players produce 1 food, 1 resource, 1 size and 1 culture for every 2 wonders they have. Um, and my three opponents start with 999 culture, well each of them only 333, uh, uh, but that's also quite a lot, so we'll have to see if I can manage to do that. I've actually tried this challenge uh, a few times and I've never, never won it, so that will be really interesting to see. Um, so I'm gonna start now. Sadly Blue took over Hippocrates. Hippocrates is really good in this challenge. You can use him for one or two turns, then swap to another leader from HA from the other set. So that would have been really nice. Uh, I guess I can just take which land in Urban Growth. Alexander not that great in this challenge because you don't get back the civil actions when you replace him. So I don't like him that much. So I'm gonna take which land in Urban Growth. And then see what the others will take. Colossus and that, okay. So this challenge is a lot about uh, getting good wonders and building those quickly. And uh, there are quite a lot of different strategies to go and try to do that. So first I think I want one of those leaders. Caesar is not bad. Could also go for Moses. Um, we'll have to see. I definitely want one of these wonders. It probably is definitely not bad in this challenge, and because there are so many leaders and wonders in the um, in the deck, the game goes on for quite a while. So getting the Procolis to get one more um, one more urban building can be really important in the end. So I think I'm gonna go with your copper lease. And yeah, sadly I also want um, these leaders of both sets. So I could also just take Caesar to get the civil actions back. But sadly I can't do that because then I don't have enough. So this is uh, really not, not looking that great for the beginning. But I definitely want those leaders to replace them. So I guess I'm still taking one of these. Maybe Caesar. But yeah, I also want this Acropolis. But maybe I'll just have to go for the Colosseum. It's also not bad. And then I can go for the lab. Uh, so yeah, the computers sometimes take quite a lot to think about the turns. So if that um, takes too long in the later stages, I will skip their turns and pause the video. But for now I think we can just give them a few seconds to calculate their turn. There are some new leaders, sadly the Acropolis will be gone, but I can't finish that um, anyway, my Colosseum. Okay, blue immediately takes Janzitska. Maybe he wants to play him as well now. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think I will take advantage of Caesar and play both of these. Knowing what is on the deck can be really good. Sadly, I can't go for the warfare. And barbarians in development of civil life. 
where I can only raise my population. Yeah, Genghis Khan and these are not the greatest. I could go for Gutenberg. I think I want to increase my population. Yeah, I don't think I want to go for Gutenberg. I can't take anything with him. Engineering Genius, of course, really nice. Can go for that. And then building my, uh, my third mine. Also really nice. So it was some tactics, sadly not a second um, Yeah, why did they have so much blue has six strength already and has an uprising now that doesn't seem good but okay yeah you will have to de delete something and red red also has to think then christopher columbus okay and maybe I can still go for Gutenberg next turn. Blue can't take him anymore, so together with Alchemy that can be really nice. Sadly the Alchemy, yeah the Alchemy will be here so I think I will do that. Can definitely go for those Crusades. Getting even more science, also nice. And yeah, taking Gutenberg. Maybe we can also finish this wonder. And then if I play Gutenberg now, I will get back all these civil actions. Maybe I should also do it differently. I could take... Yeah, I sadly can't go take Court of Laws and then do it like this. Because I can't actually get all my civil actions back. Um, because I need that civil action to play Gutenberg. So like this I would gain 5 civil actions now, but I can only gain 4, so I definitely uh, lose 1. Taking the alchemy with Gutenberg for free, and then can also finish the Colosseum. Iron is also really nice, because I want a lot of resources to go for quite a lot of these wonders. And then swordsmen are also really important. I'm going to develop alchemy next turn. I don't have to do that this turn next turn. I do, can do it for free again with Gutenberg. So I like that. And then you could either, either take reserves or swordsman. But with my Colosseum I think I want to go for swordsman. So I'm going to start and skip their turn now. Because I'm going to take quite a while to think. So yeah, I'm not gonna go into too much detail, only what concerns me about what they did in their turn. Because, um, yeah, in these challenges it's not that important what uh, these individual um, players do that much. And should probably look at that more, but um, yeah, it's not that important. And but what I can see is that they all have quite a lot of strength, so I have to be careful with that. Maybe I'm not gonna play the new bit deposits now. So maybe going for the swordsman. Can build one of those and then the tactic. Yeah, I like it that. I uh, can also go for the alchemy with Gutenberg. Don't have, can't build that now, but uh, well. And together with uh, my Colosseum, I also probably want that Himeji Castle. That is really nice wonder if I want to go for big wars, which I kind of have to have to hope for. I mean, there are different ways to play this challenge. You can either hope to have high enough uh, culture production to overtake them, but uh, as I said, they start with uh, more than 300 culture, so overtaking them with production is pretty hard. The alternative, of course, is stealing that and think. The one that I got, the Colosseum and Image Castle, I'm gonna go for some wars. If I'd gotten the Acropolis, then you can actually overtake them if you have like um, 
four or five multimedia and movies if you go for something like that and then computers five as well together with admire then you really start to build up quite a lot of culture um, but i didn't get that so i think going for magic castle trying to win this in big wars uh, should be my option here mm, can get rid of these aggressions as well So I should soon start to go for more iron. And I'm gonna skip their turn again. So the red played something and the development of markets and I definitely want to go for the resources. Can go for that one and yeah, probably for iron first. Um, red takes on that. Okay. And I have to see if maybe I can swap my Gutenberg for Leonardo. Gaining some additional resources and also the civil actions and yeah I think I like that I can still play the deposits because I will increase my resource production development of religion yeah I can go for that I guess now I can upgrade this for one less resource um, with Gutenberg and going for Leonardo Yeah, increasing once isn't bad. Still, I only get back not enough, uh, like one selection less. But still, it's not bad. Then I can go for iron and increase the resource production. Now, I could also maybe take masonry or drama, but I don't think I have to do that. Warfare. If I go for wars, I'd rather have um, strategy or even military theory. So taking warfare now, don't really have to because I have the Colosseum. So I have my third military action. So I don't have to go for warfare. Could also go for reserves. Or the knights. Yeah, the knights and maybe masonry. Yeah, why not masonry? It's quite cheap and can give me additional resources with um, Leonardo. And this tech is also really nice. And yeah, I guess I'm gonna skip their thinking time again. So the new deposits opened by blue and it's quite early. Would have liked to increase my resource production a little bit more before that was um, opened. But still not a problem, I think. Um, so yeah, I'm not the weakest, so I definitely could play maybe the good harvest. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Historic territory. I mean, I could put one, could also put two. It's nice to have it, and I won't have to concern myself with happy faces soon. So yeah, two I can bid. And these computers really, really don't like the historic territory one. Maybe could have even gotten that for just the war warriors. Um, but yeah, maybe do go for masonry now. Since the new deposits were opened already, I don't have to go for increasing my resurrection more. Can just go for finishing the magic castle. And yeah, I could also go for the universitas now. By the way, I am producing one of everything additionally now because of the two wonders that I have. So I also want to get more wonders. Great Wall would also be pretty nice. So maybe I will wait for that and then I can go for like a really high military push. And also breakthrough and reserves are really nice. Don't have to go for irrigation because I already produce um, one additional food. So if I want upgraded food, can definitely skip the irrigation and go for selective breeding directly so that is really nice and also i'm not the weakest for the crusades so that is good as well yeah i guess i don't need the naval trade agreement so i really want the great wall let's see if the others take it before me 
the barbarians um blue as the most but isn't one of the weakest okay and now skipping that turn again actually maybe i can still wait a little bit can talk over what they do develop territory yeah can't go for that have to pass but going up to three is red okay not bad for him and the great wall yeah i hope that blue doesn't take that let's Hopefully it stays at 2, and it does, okay, so maybe can actually grab Engineering Genius and the Great Wall. That would be really nice. Now the Reign of Terror or the Cultural Influence. I guess I can go for Cultural Influence. It's not bad. It's a Strategic. Yeah, 2 I would definitely bid, but that won't be enough. They really like that. And he gets it with, yeah, sometimes these uh, computers just overbid themselves so much. Yeah, now taking the Great Wall for only one civil action, that is really, really great. Because it's the first one wonder from the original set. Taking Engineering Genius as well. And maybe upgrading my resource production. Yeah, I can even increase once more. Could also go for one. I actually can even go for the knights. Like this. Still only H1 military cards, so I don't have to be too careful with not drawing new cards. If these were H2 cards already, then I would maybe not go for this. Um, but this puts me at a really high military, so I like that. And I don't really need the knights when I go for the Great Wall. But it's just a good tactic. But actually, yeah, maybe it's not even that great. Because if I go for the swordsman now, they will gain one additional strength anyway. I keep one military action keep the signs don't have to spend that on the knights yeah maybe we can just play the reserves yeah i think I like that more and then get rid of these tactics with the knights don't really have to go for those and i wouldn't be the strongest in green stern anyway and he offers a pact, interesting, that he drew from his Coloss Colossus. So I still just think I want to increase my resource and food production, get in a really good military position, and then draw quite a lot of cards to draw those uh, important wars. And while doing that, I don't want to trigger these um, computers to go for um, such a high military as well. It's really weird. Sometimes uh, they go for this immense uh, military push and sometimes they just really don't do anything about military. Well, the cultural influence, yeah, not great but also not bad. Blue producing quite a lot already. And there are the cannons. Yeah, still need some selections, I think. I really want to grab the constitutional monarchy that is really good and he takes maria teresa okay i could offer someone the open borders like the open border or the trade routes probably the open borders i can just play the reign of terror i think i'm gonna do that instead Bellion, okay, and there's Alpha Nobel, who's really good right now. Oh, he's good uh, all the time. Sadly, I can't finish the great. I uh, can finish that. Can, yeah. But first, I think I want to go for Nobel. Getting some additional signs going. And I can also go for the Great Wall. In two stages, one with engineering and then finishing that. 
and then sadly I don't get the cannons but there's one more left and maybe these aren't taken anyway and then can also increase population and probably want another wonder from the base game maybe the transcontinental railroad and then I would have all these uh, strength related wonders which would be really good and would probably put me in a good position and of course getting the there it is the fourth Wanda would also give me another pair where I would produce one additionally of each. And that would be also really nice. And Ocean Liner Service is also pretty good. Could also go for that. Also, these are really good with my masonry, so I'm glad I picked that up. And now it's starting to take quite a lot of uh, time for these turns, so I'm gonna skip theirs. So, I can definitely. Yeah, it's, I still have so little um, selections. And that isn't all that good. Can play the developed territory now. I'm the strongest, so a vast territory. Yeah, I definitely would bid four for that. Yeah, but going up to seven, I can't do that. Nine even. So anyway, yeah, sometimes these computers are crazy. Can't hold up to that. And I really would like the transcontinental. Um, but then how do I... I mean I can maybe increase my production and build another swordsman. This would mean I can't finish the transcontinental next turn. But if I have corruption I can't do that anyway. I could build two stages. Yeah, but and then I could go for one warrior, and next turn I can finish that. I think I like it. I think I like it this way. Sadly, I only draw two cards. But being able to finish that next turn is really nice. Yeah. I don't think I want to play that. Don't need to. Would rather draw some cards. I'm gonna keep the open borders. Maybe can offer that to someone who really want more military actions. Best way, of course, would be to draw the constitutional monarchy or the strategy that would also be pretty nice I have quite a lot of science production now and science saved up so that would be great and I'm gonna skip their turn again so let's see if blue will take the constitutional monarchy if he does uh, that yeah but he doesn't that's really nice for me um, so I also think I can play the popularization of science or the Cold War, probably the Cold War, even better. Rats, okay, nah, not good, but could be worse. Don't need food this turn anyway. So I'm gonna take the Constitutional, really nice. And then finishing the Transcontinental. And can also take Justice System as well, it's really nice. Don't think I want to go for a scientific method. Nah, probably not. With alchemy already and um, Nobel as well, having enough science production. Urban growth definitely is better. I can upgrade my second lab with that. And also, I'm producing four food now, which is still fine. Don't even have to get selective breeding, but if I can, I think I still will. And now I can definitely play this because I will still have enough military actions and hopefully draw some wars that would be good sadly no and he cancels the pact okay and again skip that turn so let's see blue still has some actions left and actually we'll gain even more if he replaces the leader no, that doesn't seem like he wants to so yeah, these turns from the computers sometimes take really long. So I definitely think it's good that I will skip those for you. And yeah, he even goes for Bach now. So this turn might be even longer. No, he doesn't go for that now. Okay. So finally, it's my turn again. And the terrorism, uh, terrorism is really nice because, of course, um, they have quite a lot of culture already. So going for that is really good. Reign of Terror. Not bad. 
Yeah, what do I want to do? Increasing population definitely seems good. Could also take the Kremlin. Another really nice wonder. Can't finish that this turn. But I can increase my science production with the urban growth. And next turn I can finish the Kremlin. And also taking breakthrough, probably. Or oh, patriotism. And I don't need really science anymore. Resources and military action especially can be way more important. And then maybe next turn I can swap my leader for Newton. Giving me even more civil actions basically. The Raiders as well. And then so, give that turn again. So blue is still not going for Bach it seems. Um, also there was an aggression or something. Yeah. On blue. Lost two of his printing press. So I think that's good for me. Blue right now is the biggest cultural lead. So him losing something is really nice for me. And yeah, I think the popularization of science is probably going to be really good. So I'm going to go for that. Inhabited territory. Yeah, I can bid one for starters. I can't, I can't go for eight. That's too much. And here again, sends away three swordsmen. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I think I'm gonna go with Newton. He's gonna give me quite a lot of civil actions. And then finishing the Kremlin. Can increase population. Could also take coal. It's really good together with the transcontinental. I'd rather have selective breeding. But yeah, if I go for Newton now, getting a lot of selections back. Can also go for the Knights. Oh, no, I'd rather go for the Cavalrymen. And the Cannons. Also really nice having the Nobel Prize active and then also having um, Newton. Means that I get these four um, for culture from the Nobel Prize quite often. And what else do I want? I mean, I can take another urban growth and maybe frugality for some more population. I can increase this one to swordsman so I get in front of green with the military. Sailor so didn't draw war from H2 yet, that would have been really nice. Maybe I can draw that one, uh, that one now. Sadly, no. The prosperity, I'm getting three food, not too bad. Um, can definitely then increase next turn and with the frugality, and that's also going to be nice. So yeah, I think it's uh, time I take a look at uh, what the others have right now. It's gonna be near not the beginning of H3, but uh, almost. So taking one quick look at um, what the others have. As you can see, blue. I'm gonna go through them one by one. Um, green with <laughs> crazy 16 um, resource production from yeah from quite a lot of mines, and together with um, the Machu Picchu, ends up at 16 resource production, looking really really stupid. But together with the Ocean liner service, uh, really nice. And also with quite a lot of military. Red actually played this tactic, which is really nice. And he also declared a war on blue over territory. Would have really liked to have that myself, but uh, well, can't have everything. Mm. And blue having quite a lot of troubles now. Gonna lose quite a lot of yellow tokens, even though he has a lot, because he got both the vast and the inhabited territory. So we're gonna see how that turns out for them. Mm, I think I can play the arms industry. Should be really good there. I have all these nice tags. So I'm gonna do that. Develop territory. Yeah, once again starting with two. Going up to six. Yeah, well I can build eight. And he goes up to nine. Can't can't go with that. Send away just the one. Okay, mm, I'd really like one more wonder. Maybe the Statue of Liberty 
could also go for the Eiffel Tower. Yeah, maybe the Eiffel Tower, then I don't have problems with my happy faces once uh, the age ends. It's quite expensive. Maybe the statue is even better. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with the Statue of Liberty. Can't finish that. I can't finish that this, this turn, so that's really nice. Give him additional. Yeah, that's, I think it's better than the Eiffel Tower. I can increase twice. Really nice. And actually, I can. I can't go for the cannon. But this is really nice that this tactic is in the game now. Can go for that since I didn't draw a good tactic myself. Can upgrade this here to get even more science production going. And with my last action, I mean I can take architecture. Because why not? So I have quite a lot of population, just need some more resources. Yeah, you can even grab oil if that comes uh, early. It's really strong with um, Transcontinental Railroad as well. So yeah. Can get rid of some of these. Yeah, maybe keep the aggression like this. And then see if I can draw war now. No wars and no tactics. So actually a pact from green to blue. So no one can declare war on blue. That's really bad for me. I had hoped that I could declare war on blue and maybe one or two. So I don't think this game will be very successful, honestly. Gonna need two or three wars at least and also quite a lot of strength. Which uh, is looking pretty hard. So we'll have to see. So let's see the fundamentalism and the air forces. I think those will be really good. And I think I can play an aggression on blue. Maybe the raid. Yeah, the raid is gonna be really good I think. Can even send away one of my swordsmen, gain additional strength and some culture. And it's successful. So I can lead this and this and gain quite a lot of resources. I like that. Still have enough military actions left right now. I think I'm gonna go with the fundamentalism. And since I want to go for wars anyway, this is the best um, government. And then air force is of course also really important. And now start to really get my military going. And with patriotism as well, I can go for this. Um, I don't think I want to copy the tactic. Maybe I don't go for air forces. Um, if I play with patriotism, if I copy this tactic, then I'm at three left, so I don't think I want to go for more. So I still draw three cards and increase my chance of going after drawing uh, wars. Then also taking this patriotism, really nice. Uh, but first, I think I want to go for Air Force so I get the Nobel Prize. Maybe I also shouldn't go for patriotism. Ah, but I could. Now I don't have that much uh, science production left. So, I also really don't need that many uh, new technologies. I will have corruption, but I think patriotism is one of the best cards now for me. So I get the additional military action. Yeah, the corruption is fine. Get rid of one of these. Don't need them. Let's hope I draw a war. It's best would be three wars. One war. Uh, yeah, I have to be happy with that. Also gaining some culture from uh, some signs from here. So that is nice as well. So let's hope that blue doesn't take the military theory that is here now. Would really like to get that. Nah, he does. Stupid blue. Um... Oil also can't go for that. Uh, can I? I can play an aggression. I can also go and play one of these. Uh, maybe freedom movement. 
and the aggression will also be I think it's pretty likely that I win that against blue, so I'm gonna go with that. Don't want to send anything away, but I'm successful anyway, getting seven culture is uh, better than nothing. And the satellites are probably gonna be really nice. Also, I have quite a lot of um, stuff I want to play. And together with the patriotism, going for one. Two air forces, another cannon, and then I'd have spent all my military actions, or all of those that I wanted to spend. And to get the Nobel Prize, could also go for architecture. Yeah, why not? Don't think I need the selective breeding, but I mean, I can. Don't have to go for architecture then. It's not that good if I have masonry already, so going for selective breeding. Can increase once. And then probably take reserves, and with the last I... I can even increase resource production a little bit more. I don't think I have to do that. Yeah, but why not? Still pretty early in H3. And definitely keep the war and keep this aggression, get rid of the emigration, yeah. Hopefully it war another war. Yep, I do. Okay, so this is looking good. Terrorism, I can destroy some stuff like this and this and... Oh, blue doesn't have all that much. It's pretty funny. All of this developed, but uh, well, it doesn't have anything. So I think I should start thinking about declaring a war now. And also with the military theory, that will be really nice. And who do I want to declare the war on? Yeah, probably red. So I'm gonna declare this one on red. Question is if it's gonna be enough. Because I won't be drawing a new axe. With, with my military theory, I might still be drawing new wars. Yeah, maybe I will wait one more turn. I can delete this one definitely. I also want the modern infantry and professional sports, would like all of those. I think I don't go for the wall this turn. I think I will get me some uh, some signs from blue. And then get the text that I want. Military theory, modern infantry, professional sports. Increase population can go for the professional sports now. And then I guess also the modern infantry to get the Nobel Prize again. But sadly that means I'm one science short. And let's see how I can do that. Yeah, well all of these three I need or want. And to develop all of these, I need one more science. And I can delete this one and just build another lab for now. Doesn't really matter which one. This again, go for military theory next turn. And then go and declare wars. Yeah. I don't think it will be enough, but I think I can have enough room to declare two wars. And I think next turn I will be better prepared for those. Let's see if I draw another war. No, I don't anyway. But this um, picked off. Okay. This is really nice. Getting the positional army can upgrade my units and go for that. And international tourism. Green has five and I have six. Ah, that's a pretty good deal. 
giving me up to 17 culture production now. Yeah, not too bad. I mean, he produces that one more turn. Um, but if I declare the wars on green, um, it doesn't matter that he has more production. I don't think it will be enough, honestly, but uh, maybe I don't even have enough time to declare two wars. I think it's pretty hard to win this challenge with these wars because of time running out. Everyone has so many um, civil actions when replacing the leaders so that it doesn't really last that much longer than normal games, even with all of these um, leaders and wonders. Okay, and Green not taking the Manhattan Project means he gets even more military. Um, but yeah, gonna be interesting. But actually, actually, because I accepted that um, pact with green, the pact between green and blue stopped, and now I can declare the one blue. So that is really nice. I can just feed off of blue. Hopefully two times. It's gonna be questionable if I have enough strength then. Yeah, I think one or two more turns I would have needed. Yeah, but that's uh, so definitely the right decision to accept that offer from blue from green. Even though he gets a little bit more out of it, I still am able to declare the war on blue, which is really nice. So let's see, there's only 13 cards left. I really have to be careful that the age doesn't end before my next turn. I definitely want to declare this war on blue now. And actually go for the military theory. It's really crazy how many military actions I have. Can increase once or twice. Go for one of these arenas. Can play these for resources. And then upgrade here and here. Go for this tactic. Set even more in 80, and then I can go for another one. And I can delete one of these labs, I guess. And just missing some resources. But 87. Sadly, Marlene Dietrich won't give me any more. So 87. And then a question is if I do even take anything. I can also try to go for staying at this defensive army. But yeah, it's not gonna give me more. So I think this is the most I can go for. And then the question is if I want Marlene Dietrich even. Could also go for Nelson Mandela. And then go for the arena. And if I go for maximum strength. Then what do I do? Increasing twice. Going for this. This. Some reserves. Like I don't need to build the um, the professional sports. And then if I go for Malin Dietrich, actually I don't need the second. Yeah, I don't need this one. What does it matter? I don't know. I'm gonna have a look at that. One cannon. Another cannon. And then Marlene Dietrich with this tactic, giving me 95. So I think that is even better. Still have reserves, even. So I'm not sure what I did last turn. I built too many on an infantry in my first try. Okay, now I'm up to 95. So, how many does this cost? 4 and 4 again. 113. So I think this is definitely better. And then taking rockets and nothing else, I guess. And hoping that I get another turn. It could be that I get another turn if I don't take anything. 
Gonna be 11 cards for two players. Gonna be close. So yeah, I will guess I just hope to get another turn. And then declare the last war. So our competition also really good. And he also declares a war on blue. Interesting. So let's see about that. And it's gonna take it quite a while again, so yeah. So green and red also went for wars against blue. So blue is really getting the hammer. Three wars on him at the same time. Now he picks up Gandhi, but uh, now it's too late. And do I want to send away someone? Yeah, I mean, I guess. Yeah, maybe not this one, maybe not the next one. Because of impact of competition, don't want to send away too much. And if I declare another war, I'm gonna get those military units anyway as well. So gaining 96. And yeah, declaring another one, problem is these are all, two are also gaining quite a lot of culture. Um, yeah, but no other way than declare another war. And it doesn't really make sense to declare the war on green or red, I think. Because they can just also build quite a lot of military still. So we will gain the most from declaring this on blue. So another war. Actually build one step of the wonder here. The International Red Cross. And, well, yeah, not too much left. I mean, I can take Wonder. Can also go for more military. Can build one personal sports here. And I can also delete my religion. Go for another cannon to gain even more strength. And one of these leaders. I mean, you can also wait for Churchill, probably. Or well, can take Bill Gates. Yeah, well, uh, maybe I should go for one of these wonders instead. United Nations. That's also really nice. So I think that will really result in more military for me. Going for United Nations. Can I still go for this? 16 next turn and I need 16, perfect. And in case I don't get Churchill, I mean, can also take Bill Gates. Don't play him this turn, play him next turn. In the end will also give me two culture, so that is nice. And I can increase once and take revolutionary idea. Oh wait, don't increase, but build on the wonder. Yeah, 1 and 17, not too bad. Can send away one of my units with a war. Still drawing cards. Competition, pretty nice for me. So yeah, see if I can draw an even better impact. Nope, just another war. It won't, but that will be too late. And he gains 41. Does he have another war? He can't even declare there another war if he had it, because blue has Gandhi now. So yeah. So he gains 6 additional from the National Red Cross and 18 from building it. So not too bad and does some stuff. Yeah. And red gains 47. And declares another war. Okay. Really interesting. Red so... I guess we will have, we'll have the most culture and I don't think I will have enough to overtake him, sadly. Um, but I think I will overtake blue at least, so I won't be last. I think it's a really really hard challenge, I really don't know how to play it. Or maybe I have an idea how to play it, but I just have don't have enough military soon enough. I went for all of these military wonders and still not enough. So I 
guess I can send away one of these. So getting 97 again. And can't go for another war. I want another war. Can't go for that. I can play an aggression. Yeah, aggression will probably be the best. Against green or red. Against red could fail, so green probably the better option. And then I can even send away one more of these air forces to gain three culture from that. So yeah. My revolutionary idea rockets, um, but yeah, just finishing this United Nations. 28 for all of my wonders and I can evaluate the impact of competition uh, maybe I should do that yeah, it doesn't really do anything going for that the impact of colonies also not good so maybe I won't even evaluate this it gives me more culture than blue and green but I guess red will have the most yeah but still why, why not Go and evaluate the image of competition. 12, 20, 17, and yeah, the 22. But not a lot of impacts in here. So, yeah, this won't be enough. Now I can go for Bill Gates to gain two additional um, culture at the end. And I have quite a lot of free actions, but can't take anything. Can increase once. And that's it. Yeah, quite a lot of selections left. Yeah, it just needed one more war. If I had one more turn, then it might have been enough. But not yeah, also with an aggression. And can also finish the wonder. So yeah, red will probably win this. I won't be able to overtake green. Just blue, who has <laughs> quite a lot of strength uh, that he lost. So yeah, a bit of progress. I don't. I can skip these pretty much. Architecture, happiness. So yeah, sadly I wasn't able to win this. It didn't start that well. Not getting two leaders from HA. Not having additional civil actions that early. So it wasn't the best starting position. I think next time I'm gonna try again to win this with culture production which I think is a more interesting way and also um, a good option I think in this challenge it's not not all about this war because there are four players so if even if you beat one down it's not enough culture in the end to overtake these others like red the 700 I don't know where you got all of all of that culture I mean, he started with um, 333 more than me, but he's still ahead like uh, almost 100, uh, almost 200. So I didn't gain that much on him. So yeah, maybe this wasn't that well played. If you have tips, let me know. I will try again soon to beat this challenge. I think it's one of the hardest challenges the game has. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this game and that I see you in the next um, game and video as well.